everybody, God bless you. Um, so we know that we had an assassination, uh, I believe it was today or yesterday. And I want to bring to people's remembrance to remember the word of the Lord, the word Yahweh Sabuot, the Lord God Almighty, by the power of the Holy Spirit, gave me to proclaim in Jeremiah 25. And I'm going to go over that. But, brothers and sisters, two days after, two days after this word of the Lord, right? It, we get, we have an assassination that happens, and that's what it talks about. One of the things it talks about in this word of the Lord, and that is from the sword being sent in the land. And we're going to, I'm going to go over this and, and, um, because, um, I'm, I'm pleading with people, I'm pleading with people. And, um, one of the problems is brothers and sisters, we're going to go over this, this prophecy in Jeremiah 25 really quickly again. But um, I want one of the problems is, brothers and sisters, is that with our people is that when the Lord says, when the word of the Lord says something like this in Jeremiah 11, 5, and it, and it says this exact same thing, probably a lot of times. And I'm not talking about saying it in the law back when the Lord was talking about Israel going to the promised land, but it says that in the prophets, in the New Testament, and in the prophets for our generation. And here's the problem with our people, brothers and sisters. And, and the true children of God, brothers and sisters, they believe, they know, right? They know and that they and they believe the word of the Lord. But when it says, when the Lord God Almighty says, this was in order to establish the oath I swore to your forefathers to give them a land, flowing with milk and honey, as it is to this day. Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, the problem is, is with believers, when the Lord says things like this, when he's taught, and when you read a lot of these scriptures where it talks about the people inheriting the promise and the land again, um, brothers and sisters, in, in the incorrect context, it's talking about the end days and after the tribulation, after the destruction and the tribulation um, time that God's people will inherit the land that he promised to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And see, people don't believe that. People, people don't believe that, um, that, that the Lord is going to take his people that they're going to take him back to the promised land after the tribulation, after the destruction. They don't believe that what could, that it possibly what could have happened at Stonehenge was the almighty, glorious, powerful power of God falling upon a satanic altar, a satan, an idol to crush it and destroy it, to bring about the fulfillment of the word of the Lord. They don't believe that. They don't believe that. So, um, brothers and sisters, the other day, the Lord gave me this word. If you watched my videos about Jeremiah 25, this, this uh, prophecy in Jeremiah 25. And then two days later, we have this assassination. Brothers and sisters, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of things like this happening. Okay. And um, you know that a gun is also a sword and you notice it says ghost gun like the sword of the spirit the sword of the spirit like an unseen weapon right and so i want to go over um these scriptures brothers and sisters to, so that people can know that this is just the and these things are going to happen on a major scale it says um it says, take this cup of wine from my hand and make all the nations to whom I send you drink it. Let them drink and reel and lose their wits at the sword I am sending among them. And then it goes on to say these other things. But I, I want to show you 
what it says down in 2017, 28, and 29. You are to say to them, Yahweh Sabaoth, the God of Israel, says this, drink, get drunk, vomit, fall, never to rise at the sword that I am sending among you. And brothers and sisters, this sword is, is not an, uh, this is a sword of judgment. And this is in the, I hope this brings people to a place of repentance where they see their error and their sin, their lack of faith, their things that they do and believe and say against God to bring them to a place of repentance. But brothers and sisters, this sword is not an optional thing. It is not it the the only when it talks about um, you know certain things happening, brothers and sisters. God's people, God's true children, His true first fruits, elect children. They are going to be protected. They are going to be provided for. And now the world is going to see that everybody around the true children of God are going to see that they're blessed. They're going to see that what they're seeing is true. Not to aim, not to. Um, not to do any, but to hopefully so that people could see that they are the ones that, that the Lord is using to be a voice for his will and to proclaim these things, to manifest the kingdom so that they could see and be humbled, hopefully, and repent and go, you know what? Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. And brothers and sisters, this sword is not an option. This cup of wine that it's talking about drink in Jeremiah 25 is not an option. People are going to experience this, whether they believe it, like it or not. And I want people to remember, brothers and sisters, too, that on 7-14-2022, July 14th, okay, um, President Biden is going on July 13th to Israel. And he's going to strengthen the Abraham Accords in this process of peace and safety. And remember what it says, when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction. On July 17th, 2022, when Biden is going to be in Israel, the comment K2, which K in the num is equals the number 11. When you look the number K 11 and then two, in Strong's, and then it's also um, not only, where is it? okay, here too. Um, it's also the number 2017 is associated with this. What these things mean, brothers and sisters, is Abraham, and it also means destruction. See, they're strengthening the blessings and the inheritance of Abraham. The comet is the sign of this, but it's also the sign of a bad end in which CERN has been trying to manifest this dark energy. It also meet 11 and 2017 and, these, and the letter C, which is three, it means destruction as well. And that's what is coming upon brothers and sisters, destruction and the sword. And I, and I hope and pray that people who are not in the truth, who, who do not, um, that who do not, whom the Lord does not know, meaning that the ones that the Holy Spirit is not in, that the Holy Spirit is not in them, but they're believers, that they be brought to a point of humility, that they'll humble themselves, right? And that they would um, confess and turn away from their error and their sin and stop propagating and strengthening deception and wickedness. Because brothers and sisters, remember, the Lord is coming for a spotless bride a spotless, blameless. It talks about being presented before the Lord blameless. And yes, brothers and sisters, that is by the, um, the body and blood and the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach. But when you are following Christ, you turn away from sin. You know what the, who the Pharisees were? They, they, rejected, they rejected the resurrection of Christ. That is the same thing, the, the mentality of a Pharisee today, even people who are once saved, always saved, who believe in this uber grace are Pharisees, some of them, because they deny the resurrection of Christ. They deny 
that Christ comes into somebody and transforms them to where they literally are strengthened and become a new creature and they turn away from sin. That the Lord gives them the blessings and the transformation to turn away from their sins so that they would hate the things that he hates and love the things that they love and live wholeheartedly for the Lord, exalting him and putting him above all things. So, brothers and sisters, know that I, I wanted to say, um, you know, this, this assassination is this word of the Lord in Jeremiah 25 that the Lord um, told me to proclaim, to, to prophesy these things. Um, this is the manifestation of that. And brothers and sisters, this is the beginning. And, and those who are, who are not see it, they are going to partake in this judgment. They are going to partake in this, but it's not to be me. It's hopefully to bring you to a place of repentance. And if you do, if you are convicted, glory to God. And if you're not, if your heart is so hardened and you've been handed over to deception, then brothers and sisters, I pray. My prayer for you is that when the things happen soon, that you will realize your sin and your error and, and that. Um, and that you would repent and turn away from your sin because I love you. And even if you are not in truth, even if the Lord doesn't know you, I love you and I'm praying for you and interceding for you no matter what. So I love you guys so much. God bless you guys. And remember, um, this is just the beginning of the sword. This is just the, the very beginning. And on July 14th, comment K2, while, while Biden is strengthening the Noah, the um the Abraham Accords comment K2 is going by going by, which means destruction, but it is also means the children of God will be inheriting more and more the present the, the promises given to our forefathers. All glory and praise, blessing and majesty be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen.